Gemini! Welcome to my channel, The Mother Speaks Tarot. My name is Allison. For those of you who don't know, welcome, welcome back, everyone. Um, please uh, go ahead and give my videos a like and please subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. For those of you who are not new, yes, I am back. It's been a while since I've done the Zodiacs. I am so happy to be back. Things have shifted in my household and I'm able to do these. These will be different. Um, they're not going to be the Celtic Cross at this time. I'm going to do them a lot more like the collective readings that I've been doing. And um, these will be bi-weekly. I will continue to do the um, collective readings as well. So, um, and I may even, I've got some ideas for my channel. I may even begin doing um, like vlogging on here, but uh, we'll see. Anyway, so let's see what's going on with Gemini right now just so happy to be back guys all right oh i forgot again here i'm using the tarot of sexual magic we're coming up on valentine's day um that's why i'm set up like this i'm going to pull from the vintage uh, vintage <laughs> the vintage wisdom oracle deck i've got my unicorns out here as well and also i will be using the legendary ladies i just love this deck so flipping much so let's see what's going on with gemini oh, oh. my hands are cold and so my um rainbow moonstone ring just wants to fall right off but let's go holy moly let's see what that was right there okay so these all right so i feel yeah they go like this okay so what we have here is the five of cups in the reverse you are done mourning for something okay um and it has to do with this knight of swords um now the knight of swords here for me he's very honest about what he's doing the knight of swords also runs off to war um, but I'm feeling a certain amount of honesty, just this picture itself. These people know who they are and what they want to do. That's very honest here. So I just feel like you may have been, you may have been mourning about something, but you're not anymore because somebody came in rather quickly with some truth. Let's see what else we can get here. All right. So you've got the queen of cups in the reverse. Okay. So you've, um, you may have been feeling, um, like a little bit jealous or you haven't had your emotions in control. Um, that's what I'm kind of getting here. You may not have been getting the nurturing that you need from a certain person. This could be, um, this, this can be a man or a woman. It doesn't matter. This is a very nurturing kind person who is very loving and emotionally available. Um, but in the reverse, she can be um, insecure and a bit manipulative. Um, this is also a, a Scorpio energy. This could be a Scorpio in your life. Oh, pardon me. <laughs> Let's see what else we get here. What else for Gemini? Oh, another queen. Okay, so the Queen of Swords, which is... Um, this is mostly a, a Libra energy, but this could also be you since you're an air sign. Um, you are, you or the, or this person are a, um, an inspiration to others. Okay. So I'm just feeling like this, this queen energy is it's, this could be a separate person and this could be your energy, or this could be the same person. It's going to be different for each, uh, Gemini who watches, um, my channel. So, this Queen of Swords, she, um, she's gone through a lot. She's gone through a lot of heartache. And what we've got here is the Five of Cups, which is grieving and heartache as well. A lot of the times you'll see the, the Three of Swords as well for that. But what I see here is that you're, you're not suffering anymore. You are currently um, an inspiration to others. You're inspiring others with your strength and how you learn from hardships in your life or you know from people who are being manipulative or um jealous and things like that okay so now what we've got here is the world um 
the tower in the reverse and the wheel of fortune so these major arcanas have to do with your soul's um journey okay that's how i read major arcanas mostly um your divine blueprint that's a plan that you made for your own life before you incarnated and um there's a cycle closing um but it's not through a tower moment um it's through fate it's it's through your divine blueprint you wrote it this way so that it would happen um yet uh this this, yes, this is the end of a cycle. However, it is not a tower moment. That's that's interesting. I've never seen that before. Um, maybe what this is saying is that this tower would happen through um, energy that wasn't part of your divine blueprint, perhaps, here. Let's see what we can get from the vintage um, wisdom oracle here. got here we got love okay so this has to do with love yeah this is a love reading okay so this queen of cups in the reverse may be the person that you've been in love with oh there goes the ring adios just pick that sucker back up here. I guess I need to get it sized. I have skinny fingers in the first place. And then when I get cold, they get even skinnier. Okay, so the wisdom deck is like, that's it for you. Let's see if anybody else comes out. Okay, yeah. This deck is like, nope. All right. One card from the wisdom deck. Let's see what the unicorns have to say. Maybe they have a little bit more to tell us about what's up with this reading here. Let's just put that like that so we can. Yeah. Okay, courage, and it's in the reverse. So there's something that you haven't had the courage to do, but it says, look, you are safe. Fear is an illusion and set strong boundaries. Also, I'm getting this very strong pull towards the green and the gold in this, okay? Green and gold. Um, green is heart chakra and gold is power here. So understand that you have a powerful heart ah yes the love is very powerful um there's something that you need to have the courage to do here but this is also talking about setting strong boundaries fear is an illusion okay so um hmm is this you feeling fear perhaps let's see what else we get it's going to be different for each Gemini um, whatever resonates with you is the truth like when you go oh that is like me but if you see something that's not then just leave that um, receive be open to receiving goodness believe you are worthy of abundance a gift is coming to you soon oh man I love it when I get this card you know but here's the thing about this a lot of people don't know how to receive okay and you'll be like what you know I mean but how often does uh, somebody try to, you know, I've, I've been using this example, okay? Say you and your friends go out every so often, but everybody knows that you make the most money. And so, so you pay for it. You always have people over to your house or you take them out and you pay for it because you know you have more money than them. But what if they offered to pay and you're like, oh no, of course not, you know, because you feel like you've got all this money, right? But if you allow them to pay, I mean, it's not like they're dirt poor, right? Allow them to pay once every so often. You're giving them a chance 
to be that uh, hero, to be the one who is able to give. And, and then that's learning to receive, learning that it doesn't always have to be you that gives. Okay? A lot of people don't really know how to receive anymore. They, they feel like um, if somebody says, oh, you know, hey, do you need a ride? You're, you know, and you're, you're like, no, of course, I'm fine. And you call an Uber. I mean, come on. You know, we don't want to um, put people out. Um, so, but this, this is connected somehow. Have the courage to receive. Maybe somebody wants to give you something and, and you're afraid because you don't know what they're trying to do. Maybe you don't want them to get too close to you because it says set strong boundaries. But if you, if you are open to receiving goodness, Okay, look at that goodness, you, you know, no, you don't have to be open to receiving crap, right? So believe you are worthy of this abundance and allow it to come in. Um, I've been experiencing that as well. Like I've been doing a lot of receiving and, you know, a lot of people will feel bad for, you know, when you need help, you know, and people are there to help you, you know, it's um, being grateful, okay, that you're able to receive this. Um, this is also growth. Seek out a mentor or a guide. Take baby steps as you grow. Be willing to learn from others. So there you go. That's a lot like what I was talking about. You know, have the courage to allow um, yourself to receive. Um, you know, it doesn't always feel good to receive, especially when you need help, like I was talking about. But when you're grateful for it, and you, you know, you see how it comes through love, okay? Then this allows growth. This allows peace. This, is, this allows your um, heart to fly, okay? So this is also telling you to seek out a mentor or a, a guide here. There may be a teacher that you need to find. And baby steps is, is like, you know, venture out just a little bit. You know, just do one little thing a day or something. That's what baby steps is. It, but um, be willing to receive. Be willing to learn from others. Okay? Let's see how much time I got on the clock here. All right. Let's, let's hear from the goddesses and we will close out your reading. Oh, there was a card here I didn't look at. Intention. Be clear and decisive. Focus on what you really want. Okay, be bold with your requests to the universe. Okay, say, you know, you always wanted to be a rock star and you're like, oh, no, you know, I, that's, I would need so much help to get there. Well, there you go. Learn to receive, right? Or, or you know, what do you want? Be bold with your request to the universe. Say, look, I, I, I don't, I want to be a rock star. I'm going to right? I'm just going to keep going. I'm going to focus on it and I'm just going to see what happens. Okay. It's something, there's love here. There's something that you really love. Let's see what else we can get. Wow. Okay. So right away, what we've got here is Lu Han and this is individuality. So what this is saying is that nobody can bring what you can bring. And when I was looking at that one card with the green and gold, look, she's in gold. This has a lot to do with your confidence. It has a lot to do with your masculine energy which is your power, which is your, um, con you know, your confidence, your um, belief in yourself. Understand that everybody is different. And you as a person, be confident in who you are because you are awesome. Okay. Oh my goodness. You got Taiki and Durga. Okay. You know what? I totally sh shuffled this deck, but these ladies just came out for the other um, air signs as well. So, uh, wow. Okay boundaries again where did you have a card for boundaries here yes it's the card i was just talking about courage okay durga is very courageous she she says set your boundaries okay durga is a goddess of war and this also looks like a warrior woman okay so this is a feminine energy that didn't i see yeah this knight of swords it run goes off to war. He, he dashes off to war. He's the fastest knight in the deck. And so there's something, you know, wage war uh, on the part of you that, that doesn't believe in yourself, the part of you that is like, no, I can't do this. But as you go, 
as you get the courage to do this, you know you're safe because fear is an illusion, but set your boundaries, okay? Set strong boundaries. Say, this is what I want. This is what I don't want. This is what I'm not going to put up with from other people. And when you, you have luck going for you, okay? This goddess wants to pour out abundance. This is saying, learn to receive, okay? So I'm feeling like this is really a big problem for you learning to to receive because people i'm telling you you know people like gifts and stuff but you'd be surprised how many times um people feel embarrassed to receive especially if you need help of some kind okay so believe in receiving be open to receiving goodness believe you are worthy of abundance okay a gift is coming to you soon because you're very very lucky um, my son is a Gemini and man, that he is really lucky. <laughs> he is so lucky and it has nothing to do, uh, with his tattoo of a four leaf clover. Uh, you know, that is because he's always been so lucky. That's why he got one of those, but all right. So, um, it looks like you are very lucky. You just need to have the courage here to learn to receive and to focus on what you want in life. Set those boundaries. That's what I have for you today. I'm going to do these bi-weekly and I'm going to continue to do my collective readings. Please don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you next time.